All right, so it's been 155 days since I bought these two little red tail catfish. Been taking videos every day, posting them up on YouTube to see how fast they grow. So you can kind of look back at every stage along the way. And we're going to start with some hand feeding. I actually have some cod and tilapia and some shrimp. So we'll start with a little bit of, I believe this is cod here. And they are definitely getting friendlier. Coming up for some hand feeding. I think. <laughs> we'll see if they come over. It's funny. They, it seems like they don't really have that good of eyesight. They can, it seems like they can smell a lot better than they can, than they can see. All right, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how big he is. <laughs> wow. All right. So we'll do another piece of, this is, I believe this is a piece of tilapia here. So it's funny, in the last few days, I've had a lot of new viewers on my channel, like uh, like 10,000 new viewers. <laughs> That's like more viewers than I've had since I started my YouTube channel about five months ago. And I've had a few questions. One question was, how often do I change the water? Uh, I actually do a 50% water change once a week on this thing which is about 200 gallons every week. <laughs> and I change the carbon in the filter every week too. All right, let's see what we can do with third hand feeding. Uh, I had one comment that someone said, they were surprised that the fish weren't bigger. I was kind of surprised too. I thought they would grow a little bit faster. Last time I measured them, they were like uh, eight inches. So it's kind of deceiving. They're eight inches already, which is pretty wild. All right, let's see if we can feed this guy a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, someone said they thought I should feed more often or more food, and it's kind of a delicate balance between um, feeding too much and not enough. If you feed them too much, they can bloat and die. So I was always kind of, kind of leery as far as feeding them too much. So I'll do one while. Uh, I'm going to end up doing all hand feeding on this one. <laughs> oh, look at how friendly he is. Uh, it's funny. It seems like the bigger they get, maybe they're not quite as soft as they were when they were a little bit younger. All right. So I got a little bit of food left. <laughs> I'm going to pull this filter out and then just put it in there. They're getting super friendly as far as the hand feeding. They were getting really trusting which is pretty awesome. Someone said, uh, there's another comment that said they thought I was going to have to upgrade this hot tub to something bigger. Yes. Uh, I do have room here in the basement to upgrade to like a kind of like a portable indoor swimming pool. So that'll be going up next. But I think we got a ways to go. I think maybe... At least probably five or six months before we'll have to upgrade to something bigger. But yeah, I was kind of planning that since the from the very beginning. <laughs> Definitely have to upgrade to something bigger. If they get too big, I might have to rent some some office space <laughs> and put them in some kind of a warehouse or something in a really big enclosure. All right, we just have a little bit of food left, and I'm going to finish up with some underwater video.